All right, boys, we are out here at Chuckwalla. Today is the day, baby. I know you guys have been waiting a while for this one. We built the car in the garage over the past year or so, and it's finally fine to see what it can do, man. I'm so excited. I'm very nervous, though, at the same time, right, rightfully so. So we're gonna fill out the track and then go from there, man. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens, damn. So I got myself an SA helmet for absolutely no reason. Not like I need it or anything, but it looks badass. See how it looks, baby. Head sock for class 11. The mustache will be coming in clutch today, boys. Yeah, I'm a beast. Be I'm a beast. You're a beast. I'm a beast. Tell me it right now. You're I am. All right, boys, here we go. First session, a little sketch. We're starting slow. We're just merging into the track. Once we get past that thing, we can start taking our line. All right, so first lap out on the track. Here we are, baby. We really made it, baby. So we're taking it slow. We don't really know exactly what we're doing yet, but the track is very cold and so are my tires. So you'll see here in a second, we're gonna start to oversteer pretty significantly and we're gonna correct it because we're a boss and we really run this thing, right? So here's the oversteer. Whoa, that was unexpected. All good though. And now we have, oh, more oversteer. Yes. And now here we are losing our brakes, just completely, all the way, absolutely. So you can kind of hear the noise, um, it's not good. Well, there goes my brakes. Here's the noise again. And again. Sounds really, really, really bad. Dude, my brakes are like gone. What the f That's so annoying, dude. My brakes are like, like really weak. <sighs> not good dude that's not good that was what i was worried about okay so i've got like absolutely no pedal pressure man what the f so jank exactly what i didn't want to happen just happened terrible like brakes going away fading like really really bad that's not good dude because that's kind of important to be able to stop man i thought i did everything right i don't i don't i really i can't i don't know what it is i have high temp fluid and everything i don't understand all right, we're testing out the brakes to see if they're messed up or not. I'm pretty sure they are. So instead of laying into the brakes slowly and applying pressure slowly, what we're doing is we're just absolutely stabbing them, not as hard as we can, but much more quickly, and then letting off very quickly as well. So that reduces the amount of heat we're putting in our rotors and pads. So you'll see at the end of the straight, we're going to stab it. Boom. Way too early. Stab again. And now we're off the throttle, and we're back on the throttle out of this corner. So that's the method I'm using, and it seems to be better. I'm stoked right now, dude, because I'm the issue, which that doesn't sound great, but that's the cheapest thing to fix. So what I was doing is I was going on the brakes like this, very slow and then letting off really slow. Bad idea, that's what idiots do. What I'm supposed to be doing is slamming the brakes and then letting off, and that will keep them from overheating, which I knew that but it's just weird to do that so i started doing that on the second session like you just saw and they were still like fading a little bit it wasn't like great but it was way better dude so my confidence is like back up to like 80 percent maybe like 75 but other than that the car is running like fantastic like the engine's great the cooling's amazing since i got that radiator in there everything's sick dude it's looking beastly right now all right here we go all right so out for our third session here so we're chasing a dotson 510 that's fully built by troy ermish it's a naturally aspirated motor but very well set up for track, just very underpowered, but it's a great learning car. And then we're also chasing a supercharged M3. So we are taking these first corners a little bit slow, just following their line, seeing what they're doing, and just seeing how the drivers are, which I know both of them, they're both great drivers, but just being cautious, we don't have brakes, let's keep our distance, right? So here comes the first uh, couple straightaways right here. This is the, the front straight. And we're gonna pass this Dotson because we have a lot more power. Um, not really anything else besides that, but a lot more power. I'm pretty sure that thing handles almost better than this car, <laughs> which is crazy, but it might. So here we are coming up on the M3. My car definitely has a power advantage over this supercharged M3, but we're taking it easy again. Not super confident in my brakes. So you'll see I'm letting off way early here again. You can hear him chirp the brakes because he's got no ABS. <laughs> so we're staying back a little bit just in case. And we're just going through these corners. The apex is the best that we can, just taking our lines and figuring out the track a little bit more. Tires are starting to warm up here, so we're getting a little more aggressive, and you'll see us pass him in a little bit, which is awesome to say that I was able to pass a supercharged M3. So here we are coming into the tight stuff, so we start gaining on him a little bit, and we're starting to push his limits a little bit, and just letting him know that we're there. And so here we are, baby, coming for the pass in a second here, but you'll notice when I pass, 
I don't pass very fast. Um, I'm kind of worried because this is towards the end of the straight, so I'm letting off early if I can and coasting into this next turn. And here we are coming around Woo! and just having a blast. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yo, that was pretty good, dude. Taking a little cool down lap. Not a single nugget of correction. Still having some brake issues, which is fine, but it's running really good, dude. The, the turns on this thing are but it feels so good. It does understeer a bit, but I think that's my fault because I'm not using the brakes to put weight on the front of the car and like turn in. So that's not helping me at all. I'm kind of coasting through the turns to save my brakes. So I'm gonna start timing my runs and see if we can pull like a 215. I think that'd be really, really solid for today. And then next time I come back, definitely gonna be getting some brake upgrades or at least fixing whatever this problem is. Um, I thought it was me and it, it is a little bit me, but the car should be able to handle that. So. We're figuring it out slowly, but it's lunchtime. There you go, there you go, but right, come here, dude. Come here, dude. You're not that fast, dude. Big guy. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, hey dude. dude. Yeah, I'd smoke this thing. I'd smoke that thing. I'd smoke that thing for sure. That thing's already smoked. Definitely smoke this. Easily smoke that. Smoke that. Smoke these kids. Look at this. I smoked you, dude. Hold on. Smoke that. Oh, smoked already. What the Dotson? Smoked. Adrian? What's up? Smoked. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, we got Jeff going out. Je Are you going in advance? No, I need to get some more, Absolutely. Before we start chasing down these Porsches, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Garage Collective. Garage Collective is a San Diego based car club that is built for every enthusiast of cars ever. On top of that, we've got racing simulators, we've got lounges, we've got bars, we've got an overlook of the Coronado Bridge and car storage. We sell day passes and we also sell memberships. So if you're not local to San Diego and you still want to come visit, head over to the website in the description and get the day pass. If you are local and are curious about becoming a member here at Garage Collective, head to the link in the description as well, where there will be a link where you can sign up and schedule a tour to possibly become a member here. Once again, I just want to give a massive shout out to Garage Collective for hosting this event that we're at currently and just building this absolutely amazing space. This is what the car community has been missing and now we have it. Don't be afraid to join in. Hit that link in the description. All right, guys, last session. I got a 213. Let's see if I can beat it, boy. All right, hot lap time. So here we are chasing down a Porsche Turbo 997 that is stage two, baby. You'll notice I'm letting out way early in the straight. So already let out here, which is way, way early. Braking very late, very soft while I'm coasting into the corner. So not ideal, but we took this corner pretty hard. See the wheel shaking a little bit. That's the non LSD work in there. Got this apex pretty decent. Bags. Now we are on the straightaway. He's kind of gapping me a little bit in the straights, but it's not a big deal because <laughs> he always car corners like a bouse. So way, way early letting out there on that last straightaway as well, per usual. This corner went really well for us. We came out really wide to the right, and now we're going into the left. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Never do that ever. Probably not ideal, but it's all good. And now we're going to go out to the left, set up for this next double apex corner. So we have the apex right here to the right, oversteer there, not not bad actually i, I kind of like the oversteer definitely missed this apex there's the cone to the right <laughs> just blew by that thing no problem he's gapping me a little bit in the straight right now but that's okay we got him in the corners so no big deal letting out way early again downshifting into third coming into the right gonna head left for this apex which we hit perfectly fine boom almost on the rumble strips there and now here's where we're starting to catch up to him in these corners so now we're getting on the straightaway again he's gapping me just ever so slightly nothing too crazy not too worried about it we got it almost put the visor down because i'm a fool decided to just not do that letting out way early here like way way early and barely breaking which is not good but here we are doing it and we are coming up on him so we're gonna go way out to the right here and then way up to the left to get into this bowl and complete this apex with perfection baby so we are coming down slowly you'll notice into the rumble strip and that is our apex right there right there and now we're going a little bit harder than we should but we're doing it for the we're just risking it for the biscuit so i'm breaking a little later here and this is where you'll see i start to gain on them pretty decent here so we're catching up we're catching up late break again perfect apex ready bags and now we are catching him real nice and just just real nice late break here this is where we really get on them so we're about the gopro looks a little farther than it is <laughs> but it's about six cars <laughs> And before, we were about 20 cars back from him. So here we are, bound down the back straight, or front straight, I should say. Best time of the day, I think. Boom, out of boy. So yeah, here's the Porsche that couldn't shake the Fiesta. <laughs> the Porsche that had a 209. 
Oh, that's for, there, did you really? Yeah, right there. So that means I got like a 206. <laughs> that was good though. I didn't expect to be able to keep up like that. I was yeah. surprised. Yeah, I, I saw you. No, you're you're definitely your fiesta. Is... That's pretty impressive yeah, for a little. It's, I have to say, I have to get it on camera from a four show. It's I impressive. Need the, I need the respect. It's I've seen it impressive in the canyons, and I've seen it impressive on the track. Now it's impressive. Now wait till I have brakes. Verified. Now we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it, boys. Just a quick little photo shoot. Huge shout out to Chuck Waller Raceway for letting us do this on the way out. They red flagged it for us, so we are getting a nice little shoot in. I'll see oh, you. You going to the gas station? Yeah. All right. Goodbye, brother. I'm going to the gas station. Why not? Hell yeah. Next time, we'll get you in the car. We'll go to advance next time, and then we'll we'll really do it. Good to see you. Too. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. We made it, baby. We did it. We didn't break down and cry at the end of the day. That's a win, baby.